Deadline day live. Ronaldo to Man United, Mbappe, Count, Salt to Chelsea. Transfer deadline day, live. After more than two and a half months, an explosive transfer window that was originally predicted to be one of the slowest owing to the effects of the COVID pandemic is drawing to a close. Clubs in England have until 11 p.m. BST tonight to get those last day deals over the line, after which they have to wait until January for a chance to strengthen their respective squads once again. Cristiano Ronaldo should officially complete his sensational return to Manchester United today, after passing a medical, and Juventus confirmed his exit, though Kylian Mbappe is one superstar staying put after Real Madrid reportedly withdrew their offer to Paris Saint-Germain and instead turned their focus onto Eduardo Camavinga. That should also mean Erling Haaland will be staying with Borussia Dortmund. Chelsea have seemingly not given up on deals for La Liga duo Jules Count and Saul Niggas, while Tottenham are closing in on the signing of Barcelona full-back Emerson Royal and have been eyeing Adama Traer. Manchester United are also on the trail of Ronaldo's Portuguese teammate Ruben Neves amid more links to Declan Rice, with Renato Sanchez in talks to join Wolves on loan and Leicester going for Adamola Lookman. Manchester City are still looking for that elusive striker after Harry Kane elected to remain at Spurs and West Ham may have been offered fresh hope in their pursuit of Jesse Lingard. Williams' exit from Arsenal has now been confirmed, could the likes of Hector Bellerin and Ainsley Maitland Niles now follow? And will Liverpool strengthen any further before the deadline? Stay up to date with all the latest transfer deadline day news, rumours and deals with our live blog below. News of a confirmed deal at West Ham. Croatian international midfielder Nikola Vlasic has now completed his proposed switch to East London from Russian club CSKA Moscow. The former Everton man has signed a five-year contract at London Stadium, with the transfer worth €30 million Euro plus another €9 million Euros in add-ons. Happy with that, Hammers fans? In a window that has seen Lionel Messi and now Cristiano Ronaldo swap clubs, it looks like fellow superstar Kylian Mbappe is staying put, for now. According to outlets including France's RMC Sport, Real Madrid have withdrawn from negotiations over the French forward after failing to agree a fee with Paris Saint-Germain. Los Blancos were said to have returned with a second bid from BAP worth a total of €180 million Euros including add-ons, after failing with an initial offer of €160 million. Euros. Mbappe, who played and scored twice in Sunday's League One win at Reims, with Lionel Messi also making his debut off the bench, is out of contract at PSG next summer and can sign a pre-contract agreement with another club in January. Arsenal fullback Hector Bellerin is hopeful of joining boyhood club Real Betis on loan before the close of the window, writes Jack Rosser. Bellerin, who joined Arsenal from Barcelona's academy 10 years ago, has been keen to leave the North London club for more than a year now and finally looks set for a fresh start. No option to buy is being considered at this stage, but the 26-year-old, who is yet to feature this season, looks to have little future under Mikel Arteta. Tottenham looks set to add to their ranks on deadline day, meanwhile. Having recently signed young midfielder Pape Sar from Mets, Spurs, who will hold on to Harry Kane after a long transfer saga, have also been locked in talks with Barcelona over a deal for Brazilian full-back Emerson Royal. According to Fabrizio Romano, that is now a done deal worth €30 million, Euros, with the necessary paperwork completed overnight, and €5 million Euros of that fee due to real he says the deal will be announced later today following a medical, with Emerson having agreed a five-year contract in North London. It remains to be seen if Tottenham will make a last push to sign Wolves star Adama Traer today. So, what's the state of play elsewhere in the Premier League early on deadline day? This could be a very busy day for Chelsea, who have seemingly not given up hope on a late double deal for Sevilla centre-back Jules Count and Atletico Madrid midfielder Saul Niggas. However, reports suggest that ever-changing demands from the two La Liga clubs has led to frustration on the Blues' part, so it remains to be seen if either player will arrive at Stamford Bridge before the 11pm BST deadline. As ever, you can likely expect a number of further exits from Chelsea today, as their usual loan army swells back to full size. Juventus are having a busy morning. With Ronaldo now out of the building, the club have moved to re-sign Wazkeen from Everton. The Italian forward a product of the Bianconeri's Youth Academy heads back to Turin from Goodison Park on an initial two-year loan deal. Keane spent last season at Paris Saint-Germain, having joined Everton from Juventus in 2019. 
Here's confirmation on the financial details of Ronaldo's sensational return to Manchester United, supplied by Juventus some big news to start the day, as Juventus confirm their agreement with Manchester United for Cristiano Ronaldo and say a fond farewell to the Portuguese superstar. Juve say the deal is worth an initial 15 million euro plus 8 million euros in add-ons, payable over five years. On 10 July 2018, two icons of the European and football world came together, Cristiano Ronaldo became a Juventus player, the Biancaneri said in a statement. Today, after three years together and 133 appearances, 101 goals scored and five trophies won, that chapter has come to an end. The paths of CR7 and Juventus have gone their separate ways. What has been written will forever remain. It has been an incredible journey. Click here to read the full story what was predicted to be one of the dullest and slowest summer transfer windows on record, as clubs feel the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, has turned out to be anything but, with some huge deals completed, and the likes of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo on the move. So what drama will deadline day have in store? Stay with Standard Sport as we guide you through all of the news, rumors and last-minute deals ahead of the window, slamming shut in England at 11pm BST, what was predicted to be one of the dullest and slowest summer transfer windows on record, as clubs feel the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic, has turned out to be anything but, with some huge deals completed, and the likes of Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo on the move. So what drama will deadline day have in store? Stay with Standard Sport as we guide you through all of the news, rumors and last-minute deals ahead of the window slamming shut in England at 11pm BST.